Hello guys, this is Lamin Sane of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at how to create our first controller. Okay, so last time we did create a route, but this time we're going to create a controller. So let me just show um, how what was happening in the last video. So when we clicked on our first route, we get this pop up here, which is handled by a, an event handler that we have in our template. So we'll move that handler to our controller. So how we create our first controller is almost the same as how we create our route. So we'll say app dot first route. Sorry, first controller. First route controller equal to ember dot controller dot extend. Pardon me, guys. My computer is a bit overworked today so um, okay so we have ember dot controller dot extend all right that's fine so if we want to move that action to there we just do this so now even if i comment this out that is the router this action should fire if everything works all right so i'll refresh this page and i click and it is say nothing handled that Okay, so we got an error. Let's see what happened there. So, um, first route controller, that should be working. Apparently, I made a mistake in spelling controller. So, let's go back in our browser and try that again. So, when I click here, now we do get the pop up as usual. So, we don't have a route, um, which was where our action was, but when we moved it to controller, the action still fired. Okay, so now let me just uncomment this route here i want to show something special let's say we move not just move it but we just copy the same action and then put it inside our router and inside there let's say header clicked in router and so now we have two actions called header clicked header clicked one in the router one in the controller so when we go back to, um, let's change this one to in controller so we can know which one has been fired. When we go back to in our browser and we refresh, now when we click on the header, what do you expect will happen? Let's find out. Click, it says header clicked in controller. So what happened to this action here in the router? So normally, um, controllers take precedence over routers in almost everything. So in Ember, everything you do from your um, template bubbles up to your controller first it searches there if it can't find it then it goes to the route if it can't find it there then that's about it. it probably goes in the application route but we're not going as far as that if you're going that far then um, maybe you're doing something wrong but as far as i know it tries your controller then the route okay but normally you wouldn't want to put an action in a controller and in a route you normally want to put it put it in one of those places so you won't get confused so we'll leave it in the controller for now Okay, so another thing that your controller is used for is probably um, exposing like data to your um, template. So let's say we have a first name um, property here, and let's say Lamin, which is my name, and we want to show this in our template here. So let's say we have a p tag, and we want to show that name. So we just say how you do that is. Anytime that you open this curly brace, it, it means either you want to do an action or you want to link to somewhere or you want to output some variable. And Ember, as I said, will look in your controller first. So we'll say first name, um, Lamin, we want to output that in our template and how you do that is in curly braces. So first name, when I refresh that, we should see my name showing up there. As you can see, Lamin. So let's create uh, another binding, which is last name. So let's say last name. And we'll put that also in our controller. So last name here. And this is just a quick um, showing of binding. And we'll do a video on binding alone. So. Last name here, um, well, I should have put my last name, but I put the string last name in there, so that's why it's showing that. So that's how you do binding. So just to recap what we did in this tutorial video, we just created a, an Ember controller, 
which has precedence over a router when it comes to binding to um, events and other stuff okay so next we're going to be seeing um, the flow of ember.js and how things tie up together hopefully we can do a great job at that okay thanks for watching guys i'll see you soon bye bye